it has been a long, fun, crazy four and a half years here on Gran Turismo Sport, but things are finally winding down with the release of Gran Turismo 7 coming very soon, in a couple of days actually. But for this video, I wanted to do something a little fun, kind of just take it easy and just have a little bit of fun with the remaining days here on Gran Turismo Sport. As we get started with the video, if I sound a little different, that's actually because I changed my setup quite a bit, moved a lot of things around, so I just wanted to put that out there. But anyways, we're doing eight laps here at Kyoto Giant Park, Yamagiwa, and Miyabi in reverse with the Group 4 cars. And I am in the super rare Toyota Super Group 4. This was a car that was only obtainable for like a very short time in 2020 but anyways we are actually starting a pole position but I want to have a little bit of fun so what I'm going to do is pull over to the left and just let everyone through so I'm gonna be starting from the very back on my main account so I'm pretty much risking a bunch of my driver rating but that's all right because uh, we're at the end of Gran Turismo Sport, so I just want to have a little bit of fun. So now we are in 18th place after letting everyone through, and now it's my job to try to gain back as many positions as possible. As it's going to be a little difficult to do that because here at Kyoto Driving Park, it's not exactly the easiest to get a pass done. Now the thing about this race is that even though the tire wear and the fuel usage is pretty low, uh, you would think that this race would be a zero stop, but it's actually a one stop as there is a mandatory pit stop requirement. So you pretty much go to the pit stop at any time. You don't have to change tires or take fuel. So a lot of people would be doing a stop and go. So they don't take fuel nor tires. They just do the required pit stop and go about their way. But anyways, I haven't made much progress and we're a little over halfway into lap 1. Just exiting the Miyabi section, try to be a little careful through the hairpins that exit Miyabi and go into the Yamagiwa again as it's really uneven. The surface is pretty uneven over there and it's really easy to lose control if you're a little too impatient on the throttle. And we're getting close towards the end of lap 1 and I have made zero progress so this is already not too good for me as I'm actually approaching the McGann Trophy but I'm going to have to back out because trying to get a pass done on the S's, the downhill S's, it's incredibly risky and you can easily lose control if you're not careful through there. As I get a pass done on someone who pulled over and I'm gonna tuck right in and take another spot as someone's gonna face a very hard reality it's gonna end up going into the pit wall divider so that's going to leave a mark on his car as I enter the pit stop and as I mentioned earlier gonna be doing a stop and go because tire wear and fuel are not an issue so there's no need to worry about that stuff just get the mandatory pit stop requirement and get out of there as soon as possible so we're still down to the 17th because some people have not done their pit stop yet, some already have, so luckily with the pit stop out of the way, I can just focus on trying to gain as many spots as possible, maybe gain a couple as people go to the pit stop, so I'm pretty much doing an undercut on them. But anyways, we're on lap 2 right now and we're getting ready to exit the Miyabi part of the track as I'm quickly approaching the orange Shiraka as he's almost losing control. Got to be really careful through that hairpin as I mentioned earlier. And that's going to allow me to get a good run on the Scirocco. But we're going to be going side by side into the long sweeping right hand turn. Am I going to be able to get the pass done? Sort of. But he is still on my blind spot so I'm just going to try to give him the space. But luckily I'm going to be able to take 16th place. So now I just need to go as fast as I can. Try to be as consistent as I can to try to catch up to 15th place. Getting ready to start lap 3, 
some people are going into the pit stop so we're going to see if we can get a couple of spots gained and it looks like we are just one spot so we're now in 15th place 14th place just came out of the pit stop and actually got undercut by the Subaru the blue Subaru just up ahead but they are pretty close to each other so if they start to fight then I will be able to catch up to them and hopefully try to find a way around them. However, the Scirocco did get a bit of a messy exit through that tricky chicane, which is going to allow me to get really close to him, but now I need to try to find a way to get around him. And as I mentioned earlier, trying to get a pass done on Kyoto Giant Park is not going to be that easy. Uh, you basically need to get an excellent run on them and an excellent exit out of the turn and just quickly gain on them to try to take advantage of them and get past them as it's definitely not going to happen over here we're both going to be a little careful through the hairpin entering the Miyabi course as that part is also really easy to spin out on and for the meantime I'm just going to take my time trying to get the moves done as there's still quite a bit of time left there's around four four and a half laps left in this race so still quite a bit of time for me to try to get some clean moves done i don't want to be too impatient otherwise i risk losing control or creating an incident with other cars but in the meantime i'm not too far behind the shirako the shirako is not too far behind the subaru and I just need to try to get a really good run and this turn might just be it as the Scirocco is actually getting kind of close to the WRX and he's going to slow down a bit which is going to let me get a good run on him and I'm going to try to go for the move. It's going to be pretty risky. Going to get the inside line and he's actually going to back out so he kind of saw what was about to happen and yielded his position as I'm starting to slide around a bit. Luckily he caught the car right away but that little risk ended up being worth it as now I gained a spot and now I'm quickly gaining on 13th place. Now I need to see if I can get a really good run on the Subaru as we are now on the main straight. Gonna take advantage of a slipstream slowly inch closer and closer to him. Gonna go for the move, try to stay on the inside line and we just got the move done. Now I just need a nice clean exit out of the turn one and I'm going to mess it up by going into the grass. I mean I didn't spin out but the dirty tires are really going to ruin my progress. And now that progress gaining two spots has gone down the drain and I need to work my way back up again. So things are going a little sour. It's not the end of the world just yet but I need to try to make sure that I'm nailing down every single turn getting the best run possible so I can gain some spots as at this point I'm kind of just losing more and more time. And now we're in a bit of a repeat situation as I'm right behind the Scirocco again and the Scirocco is right behind the Subaru as the Scirocco is actually going to go for the move, take the inside line and he's going to get the move done. I'm going to get a faster exit than the Subaru and am I going to be able to get the move done? No, not really actually as the Subaru is now in the slipstream and that's going to give him just enough of a toe for him to keep his spot for now. And I'm actually going to slow down a bit to try to get a faster exit into the final turn and it's almost going to work but it was a little too late so I'm not going to be able to get the move done on the Subaru. Going through the final turn, I have made a little progress in this lap so I really need to try to work my way up try to gain as many spots as possible in what's pretty much now four laps so things are going to be a little difficult as 10th place comes out of the pit stop and it's going to come out right in front of the Scirocco so now it's a three four car battle for 10th place so I need to try and see if I can find my way around these cars as quickly as possible as I've been losing a little too much time a little more time than I would like to admit so I just need to try to find a really good spot to go for the move or at least try to find a really good moment as the Scirocco is actually going to go a little wide through the S's at the Miyabi's part gonna get the move done on him right away and gonna make sure I don't mess up this time unlike last time where I ended up going into the grass gonna try to be really careful exiting out of the Miyabi section of the track gonna try and see if I can get a move done on the Subaru as we've been hanging out for a while but I mean I'm not gonna lie it has been some good enjoyable racing but again I'm losing quite a bit of time so 
it's not exactly the kind of race that I want to have, but I mean, the, the experience itself was still pretty enjoyable. Gonna get a good run on this Subaru, but am I gonna go for the move? No, actually, not gonna go for the move. Gonna wait a bit longer, slow myself down through the S's to set myself up for a fast exit out of the S's. Gonna get a good run on the Subaru, and I'm gonna throw myself in there, get the inside line, and get the move done. So that, that actually worked out pretty well for me. I had a feeling it wasn't gonna work, but I still wanted to try it anyways. But we are on the main straight, so I need to defend my spot. But the Subaru is actually going to go towards the right, and then he's going to do a little wiggle dance for some weird reason. But I am going to be able to keep 11th place, going to try to make sure I get a better exit this time. And luckily I do, so now I have to work my way up to catching up to 10th place and hopefully pass him. As we are now entering towards the end of lap 6, going to get a slightly better run on him. But I'm definitely not going to be close enough to be able to get the move done into the downhill S's. So I'm going to repeat what I did last time. Slow down a bit, down the S's, set myself up for a better exit. Going to get a really good run on the Ferrari and going to throw myself in there. Get the inside line and I'm going to try to commit to the inside line and take 10th place. But I do have to be wary about 11th place now. As he is under my substream once again, actually passing some cars as they go into the pit stop. And the Ferrari, he's going to go for the move, but then he's not going to go for the move. So I guess he realized that he wasn't close enough to try to go for the move. So I'm going to keep my spot for now. And things are kind of going to wind down from here for this race as nothing is going to happen until the very end of the race where I finish the race in ninth place. So. It was a good bit of racing, but I made a few too many mistakes and lost quite a bit of time. So, unfortunately, I couldn't catch up to the pack of cars that were just in front of me. But hey, I still had some good racing, so that's kind of what matters the most to me. But we're going to go on over towards the second and last race for this video. Gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull on over to the left side of the track and just let everyone through. So, I'm gonna go all the way down to... I think it was 19th place in this race. Just gonna wait for everyone to pass on by. And we're gonna go ahead and get back up to speed as we're gonna be starting in 18th place actually. Gonna see if I can work my way up a little faster this time. Hopefully not lose too much time and not make too many mistakes. Although the Super, when it comes to cold tires, it, it feels a little rubbish. Or maybe that's just me. I'm just a little rubbish when it comes to driving on cold tires. As the Huracan in 17th place, he's going to go a little wide on the hairpin just before the hairpin that exits Miyabi. Going to see if I can try to get a good run on him, but it's not going to be good enough to go for the move. So I'm going to be stuck behind him for a while. I'm just hoping that he goes wide again so I can just try to slide on by really fast. Going to go a little wide onto this long right turn but gonna go for the late apex and I'm gonna get a slightly better run on him but it's not going to be good enough to go for the overtake going into the downhill S's so I'm gonna back out of it gonna actually slow down a little bit going into the downhill S's but then focus on getting a better exit on the downhill S's gonna go for the move and it's almost going to work but then he's gonna go a little wide and I'm gonna be able to slide right on in and as we get ready to finish lap 1, some cars are going into the pit stop to get the mandatory pit stop out of the way. But I'm going to stay out for a bit longer because I want to catch up to the big group of cars in front and have a little bit of fun with them. And because they're all kind of bunched up together, they're going to be going a little slow as they have to watch out for each other. And I'm going to gradually catch up to them, especially on this hairpin that goes into the Biyabi section. One car is going to go a little wide, another car is going to start to lag around and look like his car is dancing. And now I am right behind the BMW M4 and now I need to try to find a way around these group of cars. Hopefully I can do it before I go into the pit stop but for now it's going to take my time, take a slightly wide line to try to go for a late apex as one car is going to end up going wide into the grass and the BMW is almost going to lose control. 
tried to break and actually ended up hitting him, but I think that just barely saved him. But luckily, that wasn't the end of the world for me. Luckily, my my race wasn't ruined, but uh, that did scare me a bit. Gonna be right behind the BMW is actually, I think he has dirty tires. I think he just went off the track just barely and ended up getting dirty tires as one car spun out, exiting the Miyabi hairpin. So now I'm up to 12th place for now. And I still need to do my pit stop, so I may lose a couple spots when I do do the pit stop as the yellow Toyota is going to push the white Subaru out of the way and it's going to be a little difficult to try to get around the Subaru as he is lagging around a bit and it's a little difficult to tell exactly where he's at. Starting to go on the downhill S is the Subaru is going to go into the yellow Toyota, the Toyota is going to go into the wall, into the other wall, the Subaru is going to slow down, the BMW is going to hit the Subaru, I'm going to hit the Subaru, what in tarnation is going on around here? Gonna try to get the inside line as luckily I didn't lose too much speed but I want none of this now and especially with a car lagging around I don't want to really deal with that kind of shenanigans so I'm gonna tap out and go into the pit stop and just like in the last race gonna do a stop and go no need to change tires no need to refuel the BMW actually pitted right behind me so he may have the same idea don't want to deal with a car that's lagging around and I think that's what may have caused the chaos, the Subaru lagging into the Toyota and causing all that stuff to happen. But anyways, going into lap 5, we are approaching a couple cars as the Megane is going to go into the BMW. And I'm going to end up right behind him, but because I know who the guy in the BMW is, I'm going to be a brother and help him out because, yeah, Cyrus is a homie, okay. But anyways... Gonna try and see if I can find my way past the Megan as it's gonna be a little difficult to do so I'm kinda in an awkward spot. Gonna try to go for the late apex but he was right there so I'm not going to be able to get a good run. Going side by side with the Megan trophy but he has the better line and he's actually just a bit more ahead of me so he's going to keep his spot for now. Gonna take a wide line through the long right turn at the Miyabi section of the whole track so for now i'm going to take a bit of time to try and see where i can get a really good run on the megan and maybe even the bmw as well as the megan trophy is going to go for the move going to go into the bmw and going into the hairpin the second hairpin the bmw is kind of going to go into the megan trophy so they're starting to really fight it out and i'm not going to be able to take advantage of that as there wasn't really any space or opportunity for me to go for the move. So just gonna keep on waiting for now. It's kind of just of a waiting game, waiting to see if I can uh, seize the opportunity and get a move done when one arises. But I think I have a feeling where I'm gonna go for the move again. It has worked a couple of times throughout the video and I'm gonna try it again where I slow down on the downhill S's, then gonna capitalize on getting a fast exit out of the S's the Megan Trophy is going to go into the grass so now he has dirty tires and I'm going to try to find my way through, going to squeeze on in as he actually picks up a half second penalty and I'm going to be up in 12th place now. And luckily I am under the Supreme Osiris in front of me so the Megan Trophy behind me is not going to be able to catch up to me. And actually I'm going to go up two spots as some people were in the pit stops just now so now I'm in top 10 in 10th place. And now I need to try to find a way around the two BMWs in front of me. But first, I need to try to find a way around Cyrus in ninth place. By the way, he's a homie. He's a really fast driver, so please check out his Twitch channel. I'll leave his link in the description down below. But anyways, he's going to get a slightly worse exit, but because I actually want to catch up to eighth place, going to give him a bit of a bump job, so... I kind of need to work with him for a bit so we can hopefully catch up to 8th place and then try to see if I can go for a move on him and then catch up to 8th place. Going to get a really bad exit actually, going to end up hitting the wall so that's going to be a bit of an awkward moment there. Luckily not going to lose too much time as I'm going to catch up to 9th place again. Now I need to see how I can get around it because I'm right behind Cyrus but He's making it difficult for me to get around him. So going to wait around for now as he's actually going to get a pretty poor exit out of the tricky chicane. 
gonna get a really good run on him and I'm gonna go for the move as actually I think he has dirty ties right now so he's actually at a bigger disadvantage so luckily got the move done now I need to try to see how I can catch up to meme factures and get past him so we're gonna quickly go through lap 7 as I'm slowly inching closer and closer to him Luckily, I am able to catch up to him, so now I need to try to find a way to get around him and also try to reach 7th place as there's not much time left as we are getting ready to end lap 7. Gonna go for the same usual move, slow down on the downhill SS and then focus on getting a faster exit. Looks like it's gonna work and gonna get the move done. And I'm actually gonna break just a little too late and end up right in front of Meme Factures. And he's actually going to get a slightly better exit than me out of the final turn as we're getting ready to end lap 7 and start the final lap as one car actually went into the pit stop. And now we're getting ready to start lap 8 but we're going side by side into the first turn. Gonna get the inside line and I'm gonna end up park, kind of parking it on the apex. It's gonna try to get a clean exit. Gonna take it a little too slow so hopefully Meme Factress is not mad at me about that. Gonna break just in time, almost break a little too late and just barely keep the car on the track limit so I was kind of pushing it right there. But now I need to try to see how I can get to 6th place and hopefully 8th place and 9th place don't take advantage of me or fight it out with me. But it's going to be a little difficult as 6th place is a little too far and there's not enough time left as we're on the last lap. So. Luckily for now, I'm slowly inching away from the BMWs right behind me so I can focus a bit more on catching up to the Aston Martin in 6th place but I'm unfortunately not catching up to him fast enough to go for the move or even just fight it out with him. As we're going into the downhill, S is going to get a slightly better exit but it's just not enough. He's still going to be just barely out of reach even under his slipstream now, the Aston Martin is just far enough to secure 6th place. So going to be finishing 7th place in this race after purposely starting in 18th place. But that's going to be it for this video. I mean these were some pretty fun races to do. I uh, had a lot of fun with them uh, just trying to work my way back up. And that is finally it for the Gran Turismo Sport Racing videos. Thank you guys for being with me in this journey through my 56 shenanigan filled fun racing episodes of Gran Turismo Sport Racing. Hopefully I'll see you guys in Gran Turismo 7 where there's going to be a lot more fun and shenanigans and shenanigans. But anyways that's it from me. Uh, thank you guys for the amazing support. Thank you to Placey for supporting the channel as well. This is Mr. MCA, wishing you guys an awesome week, and I'll see you in Gran Turismo 7.